Um, I decided to start the presentation off thinking about why did you pick computing science? So for some people, it's they love coding. For other people, they love games design. Or it could be the job prospects. I think the biggest answer I got when I asked the girls in the department this week, it was about their teachers. So not necessarily me, but it would be maybe the other teacher in the department. I think the kids really like to go with who they enjoy working with. So I've broke them into four parts. And um, for anyone who doesn't know the background of Bertha Park High School, it's a brand new Microsoft flagship school. Um, it opened in 2019. And to be honest, when we all got the job, there was 15 of us that started. So that includes senior management, our guidance, everybody. We thought we were planning for this utopian school. It's going to be amazing. We've got all these gadgets. What could possibly go wrong? Um, turns out quite a lot. So um, pretty much the reality was we had S1 and S2 pupils and they were just our usual secondary pupils. And actually what we didn't have, we didn't have an ethos. We didn't have a community feeling because we were just a blank canvas and we just had to dump all the fancy stuff to the side and it became building those foundations, establishing the relationships. And it was a good blank canvas in the department as well. Because I was on my own, it was an opportunity to know every single pupil that was in the school and get to know them on maybe a different level that I wouldn't have if I just joined the department, um, which was really nice. Where we are now, we've got three people in the department now. It just so happens that we're all female in the department and we've now got S1 to S4 pupils all together. The next part, and a really important part um, of building the department and engaging girls in the department is just putting in the time. So we don't have an amazing curriculum that nobody else has, but we do change it all the time, kind of what Tony was saying. We're constantly evaluating what we're teaching each year, and we are updating it, and we really like to... Um, we're really flexible and open to trying new things in the department too, just to try and keep things new and try and hook um, kids in. We also put a lot of time and effort into our BGE as much as we would in our senior phase to try and hook kids from S1 right through. Um, giving pupils the time, so our department's open. We've got study support running, we've got coding clubs. We do a dress code club of over 40 girls that come to that, S1 and S2, and our S3 and S4 girls are mentors. They help out. And that's really nice for building peer relationships for between the girls in the department. But also it gives them a role model closer to their age. They can see the third and fourth year girls are doing really well. They're celebrating some success. And hopefully that kind of makes them aspire to do the same. Um, and the last thing was just getting involved out with this department in classroom. It's easy to get stuck in your own department. Um, it just so happens to take the netball. We have over 30 girls that come every week and some boys. And that's been very positive for my uptake of girls because they're coming to the department and um, taking computing because I'm getting to build that relationship out with the department. Obviously, I'm not suggesting everybody goes and signs up to take netball, but I think when you ask kids their most memorable um, thing at school or what they enjoy the most, nine times out of 10, it's something out with the classroom uh, that's going on. So I think it's good to be involved in things across the whole school rather than just your own department. Moving on to hearts and minds, you'll always get the kids that are always going to come back to the department, kind of what Shona was saying. You've, you've got the geeks, the hardcore ones, that they stick with you, they know what they want to do, that's where they're going. But it's just trying to win the hearts and minds of everybody. And um, we are really, really enthusiastic in the department. We love computing, we've got a passion for it, and we think that really cascades through our lessons. Um, last year was our first course choice for S3 and S4. Um, and we, our pupils got given free choice. So they had to take English and maths and they got free choice between all subjects and they got to pick four. And in our school, computing got the highest uptake out of all of the departments, which has never happened in the school I've been in before. So that was really good and um, we we're really happy with that. And now we're just trying to keep that momentum going in the department now um, because it's really exciting. If the kids only ever know computing as a department that boys and the girls go to, and it's quite a popular one, then I'm just hoping that that will just continue to grow as the school grows. And the final one's possibility. So we are linking, um, we're just trying to make the kids so aware um, of the possibilities that computing can sort of lend to them. So for example, um, during remote learning, we had Tanya Howden, who's obviously on tonight, she was great. She came onto one of our lessons when she was in her role as a digital education programme manager at Hearts of Mabovian Football Club. And what we were talking about was the role of digital and tech in football. And it was really good that it was fronted by a female role model. Um, so you're looking at football and um, computing, both stereotypical boy things and subjects. And then you've got 
um, a young female, a really good positive role model. And if our pupils are seeing people like Tanya in the industry and doing stuff like that, then they can see themselves in that role, which is really important. Um, other things we do in the classroom. So teaching the second year's SQL, um, we did a live job search at the start of the lesson, just there and then all the SQL jobs that were going on in Scotland. And you can see the companies that they could work for, the average salary, they're able to see how many. There was loads of jobs when we were doing it, which was really, which was really helpful for me. Um, but I just think it's really important to make them aware of why they're learning what they are in the classroom and just like being able to picture that outside the, the school and into real life. Um, the conclusion really is my senior management team going about this all the time. And I think this hits the nail on the head. You need to build the relationships before you need the relationships. And I think everything, the high uptake, the kids coming to the code clubs, all the stuff that's going on there, buying into everything that we're doing. Um, so I think it just it really is, it just really boils down to the relationships and the feeling of the department. Thank you.